My name is Magnus Olsen, uh, also known as Fox. Um, I play for the Lowland Lions in Quake 3. I just recently joined Lowland Lions. Uh, actually, I even signed the contract just uh, today. So, uh, yeah, it's my new home. Well, Lowland Lions uh, is an organization based in the Benelux. We knew that Quake Live was coming out and we didn't see any new talent in the Benelux and it wasn't really established one. So we took a chance and we took Fox in because we know that he has uh, the motivation and the talent to become uh, the best in Quake Live and Quake 3 in the upcoming summer events. We've signed a contract for six months so far uh, and we'll see what happens after that. I mean, uh, the reason it's such a short contract is because right now I mean, no one really knows what's going to happen after Quake 3, because Quake Live is coming out. One week before the tournament, I felt really strong, like uh, I was in really good shape. Uh, and then I came down with the flu, so I spent like three or four days in bed just trying to get better. And... Uh, those couple of days when I was sick, I uh, played really bad during practice, so my confidence sort of disappeared during just that week. So when uh, the tournament here started at Masters, I didn't feel too good really. But um, I mean, so that's why I'm pretty happy with second place. Can't complain. I'll be 100% next time. My uh, group was with. Uh, Avec, who finished third at eventually. Uh, Rafa, the, the winner of the American EWC qualifier, so known as the best American right now. And um, Matrox was uh, pretty good. He won the Polish qualifier, so my group was uh, actually very strong, uh, but I ended up winning eventually without any losses. Then I played. Uh, Noctis in the brackets, who's a, a new up-and-comer, who's been uh, practicing a lot and was really strong. It was a pretty exciting game. And, yeah, I was happy to win that one. They played Jibo, uh, a Russian with a tremendous amount of experience. He's uh, usually neglected when you speak about great aimers, but Jibo is actually a very good aimer. Apart from Cypher, the best aimer here, I'd say. So his LG was really lethal, and yeah, I was happy to win that one. If you have the best aim, you can uh, like take liberties that you can't do if you're out aimed. Uh, you really just have to keep all the items in your head, and right when he misses something, you're there to take it, and uh, then just catch him in a bad position. But Definitely, it's the biggest challenge you can face trying to win without hitting more. <laughs> we have Fox from Sweden. Woo! Let me show you his style. Stand up, please, Fox. Go Fox! <laughs> and then I played Cypher in the grand finals, and he just uh, aimed the hell out of me, hitting. Yeah, he hit a lot of shots, so it was a well deserved victory. Uh, well, I have huge respect for Cypher, and uh, I'm not sure if Cooler's going, but he's always very difficult to play. Yeah, I mean, I can tell pretty well from uh, watching games online who's really the strongest. I mean, Cypher always looked really effortless, and uh, yeah, he simply... From the beginning, I felt that he was the strongest one here. I can definitely beat him. I, uh, I wasn't too far off. I mean, I, had, uh, I was coming back on T4, and then due to a series of uh, unfortunate events, I lost it again. But I mean, if I study him a bit, I can definitely do better, and it'll be interesting next time.
I definitely prefer Quake 3. I mean, it just feels so much more solid and you know, you know what's going to happen even before you pull the trigger, kind of. In Quake 4 it was a bit sketchy sometimes. I mean, yeah, I, I always felt home in Quake 3. I can play it without forcing myself, really. I, th I still think Quake 3 is fun many years after I picked it up. And uh, Quake 4 was someone sometimes difficult to practice, really. I miss going to LANs and play TDM, because those were the best days. A Nations Cup ended up being a really large tournament with uh, a lot of good players coming back and uh, enjoying some TDM again. And it, it had a lot of viewers as well, so I think everyone, uh, everyone seemed happy about the return of TDM. And I always enjoyed playing TDM. I feel like that's where I'm comfortable, really, where I'm home. Well, on DM6, I feel at home. So I veered off course a little bit, and that was called FOG for a while. Uh, but people still called me Fox, and I, like, it feels like my roots, so I'm back at Fox, and uh, I'm happy about that. So, henceforth, Fox. I mean, wait.